Hello ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Duke here, back with another NBA 2K14 all Sam my GM mode as the Toronto Raptors. This episode guys, we're going to be going into the offseason and doing some stuff here and there. Uh, the MVP for the season was Kyrie Irving, it looks like. Uh, rookie of the year was Larry Hale, a shooting guard for Atlanta. 22 points per game, solid out of him. Excuse me, oh, got a burp coming. Yuri Gallagher was uh, sixth man of the year, uh, 14 points. Uh, 14 points per game out of him. Defensive player of the year was Joel Embiid with 19 points a game, 11, 11 rebounds, 2 blocks, a steal, and almost 2 assists. That is impressive, sir. Um, oh my god, I've got a burps coming like mad. Oh, I'm good. I'm good, boys. I'm good. <laughs> Most improved player was Marcus Lee. He played for us, didn't he? Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> Oops. Um, coach of the year was John Lawyer. Uh, he led Detroit too. Um, there you go. Good for him. And that's it for the awards. Uh, first NBA or All NBA first team is Irving, Westbrook, Durant. Oh, Wiggins! Wiggins got it. Adam Boy, Wiggins. I'm proud of you. Uh, and then Embiid. Look at that, Wiggins. <sighs> Good for him. That's my boy. Seven rebounds a game, 23 points. Fantastic. And second NBA team was Cousins, Love. Jabari Parker, Drew Holiday, and Damian Lillard. Third was Chris Paul, Deron Williams, Paul George, Dario Saric, 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 and Nerlens Noel. Um, and then all defensive team was Embiid, Aminu, Jones, Shumpert, and Carter Williams. And then all defensive team number two was Bledsoe, Rubio, Farid, Randolph, and Drummond. And then first rookie team was Poole, Lucas, Kasparov, Lenny Gooden, our very own Lenny Gooden, throwing it out there. And Larry Hale and Solon. Oh, let's look at Hale. How do you do? Sorry, Gooden. Um, 18 points a game. That's awesome. Wow. Oh, and then all rookie second team, Simmons, Peterson, Pearson, Pittman, and Woldridge. So look at that. There you go. Um, I think that's it. That's it. So advancing on. Uh, we're going to simulate through the playoffs since we unfortunately did not make it, which our owners be very pissed off at. So, I'm going to simulate through the playoffs. Something's happening here. Uh, Davis is all better. Oh, thank God. Just in time for nothing. <laughs> let's, just keep, let's just keep simulating on. Um, anything big happening in the East? It's Detroit and 76ers, Chicago and Magic. Uh, Western, ooh, okay. This is fast. Well, it looks like the Rockets won the NBA championship. So, so for Detroit to get there, they beat Chicago 2-1. Uh, sorry, 4-2, uh, 76-4-2, and Detroit 4-1. A pretty easy run for them. It looks like they just powered their way through. And with the Roth, it's a 4-2 against Memphis, 4-2 against the Spurs, and a Game 7 against the Timberwolves. And this one with the Game 7. Rockets coming out on top. We feel the goal. Purchase a stadium facility. I don't know how the hell to do that. But uh, Westbrook won playoff MVP. And then players retiring is Devin Harris, Jarrett Jack, the DUI king, running over people and slamming brews back. <laughs> and then Amiri Stoudemire, Dwayne Wade, Andre Iguodala, and Zach Randolph. Wade spending a couple years with the Raptors in this series. So congrats to him to make it to the Hall of Fame also. Ex-Raptor winner of the Hall of Fame. Um, okay, thanks for coming over, Duke. Let's discuss a new expectation of mine that's just coming up. Uh, we need to improve our infrastructure. We need to purchase a stadium facility that will help out our bottom line. I'm going to say how it's hard to accomplish, but because I don't know even how to do that. Um, and then I need you to review the budget for next year. Okay. Give it to me, bud. Put a lot in cap, I'm thinking. A lot in cap. Um, pfft, affects moral and free agent interest. Let's go with that. I mean, all of the cap, I like that. And then the draft lottery, I don't think we have anything, so I'll simulate through it. Oh, we got the ninth pick. All right, that's actually not bad. That's top ten. I'll take it. Um, so that's pretty good. Head coaches, and all right, that's all expired. Staff signing. Head coach, I don't think we're going to bring back uh, Johnny Davis. Maybe, I don't know, can you I put um, Vince Carter as our head coach, I wonder? Vince Carter, we could bring him up to our head coach, which I would not mind. Or anybody else. Or Kevin Garnett is right there as well. I think I'm going to make... I think it's time for Vince Carter to get his own and be our head coach. I think it's time. Hey, Vince, we'd like to offer you the business head coach of the Toronto Raptors. Are you interested? Of course I am. How many years is the offer? 
I'm going to go give him three straight years. I'd like to see as head coach of the Toronto Raptors for the next three seasons. Thanks for the confidence in me. And I'll do my all to prove I'm worth it. So Vince Carter, the new head coach of the Toronto Raptors. Changes are going to come in, I believe. Um, so it's awesome to have him now. He's been learning the ropes as the assistant head coach, which is uh, awesome. But now it's time for him to take over. Um, so those contracts are good. Uh, let's find a new assistant. Head scout's good. Trainer. Uh, let's go see if there's anybody better. Of course. Um, but A, B, plus C, Let's go with badges. Um, fitness guru and spiritual is whole supremacy to increase player morale. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Eddie Ralph still. <laughs> I don't want no prey shit going on here. Just fix the damn people. Just fix the damn people. Um, hey, I've been doing A plus work. I'd like to offer you a contract exception to the continue as a trainer for the Toronto Raptors. Are you interested? Yes, of course. I would imagine being anywhere else. How many years of extension? Two years. Um, that sounds awesome. It's a deal. Alrighty, time to find a good assistant coach to work alongside Vince Carter. Um, who's this guy? Jason Taylor. Uh, not bad. Can afford. We can afford him. Uh, Paul Pierce. Uh, Billy Farmer. Um, let's go. Jason Taylor. He's got no downsides to him, so let's just take him. You'll do, sir. Um, blah 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 blah. I'll give him two years. Um, there we go. Perfect. So we got a new coach, or well, a new assistant coach and a new head coach in a way. But he has been around the teams, all right. So and it's Vince Carter. I mean, it's Vince Carter, all right. He's he's he is Toronto, all right. He he brought this team to what it was when he left. Um, but so staff signing is done. Let's go to team and player options. Do we keep Granger? Um, seventy four overall for two point four eight. I don't think we are. I think we're going to decline it. Maybe we'll pick him up in free agency. I don't know. But for now, we're going to decline it. Um, so, ooh, Carter Williams is going to free agency. No, Nerlens Noel is going to free agency, guys. This may be our time to pick him up because that name is unreal. Um, <laughs> maybe it's time to... I think, you know what? We're going to go for Nerlens Noel. I'm saying that right now. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. I don't know what I have to do, but we're going to get him. Uh, James Young is going. Uh, Dennis Schroeder is going to free agency. So that looks like it's about it. A uh, qualifying offer. has got nobody to qualify to. My free agents. We've got Granger, Davis. Let's see what Granger wants, to be honest. Um, who wants, oh yeah, that's cheaper. I'll take it. You got her. One year. There you go. How about that? Uh, oh, he's taking into consideration. My ass. Take it or leave it, bud. Uh, so then, we're going to let Johnson go. We're gonna let Falls. Do I take? I'm gonna try and sign Davis for another year. Went one year, one point two. I'll give you two. How about that? That better? Um. Yeah, I'll take into consideration. You better fucking take it. <laughs> uh, Falls and then Douglas. Um. Let's. How's Falls doing stats wise? I'm just curious. Oops. I did <laughs> based on our rockers evaluation. Um. I won't draft. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who Cheek is. I hate this part. I'll just say I won't. I'll accept it. Whatever. Very high on my draft board. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's go into the draft, I guess. We'll be doing that. My dogs are sleepy, as ever. So let's uh, hop in this, guys. The 2019 draft. My God. But uh, I will see you guys when it's our pick or if anything exciting happens. All right, guys. I'm back. Um, before the draft started, I still look looking around at possible trades. Um... I think I found one I absolutely love. Andre Drummond, $17 million a year. He's at the end of his contract. He's 25 years young. He is a fantastic defensive center. And I'm not loving Sanders and Gooden. I'm not too crazy about. And there's some good point guards we can go after in free agency. So I'm, I'm going to do this. As crazy as that sounds, as you get her done, I'm going to trade for an amazing center. Wow. What am I doing? I don't know, but... This is a blockbuster trade, ladies and gentlemen. Sanders and Gooden, our starting center, our starting point guard for an amazing center. Um, there's some other pretty impressive offers out there, but a lot of them wanted me to get rid of Skip Robbins. Maybe if we can't get a point guard, Skip Robbins becomes a starter, give him some more time to grow. But uh, for now, oh my gosh, huge trade. Let's take her. Let's do her, boys. 
So uh, back to our, or maybe we draft a point guard. Who knows? Let's just get there and see what happens, guys. All right, guys. So it's our uh, pick, and there hasn't been a single point guard taken yet. Showing it quickly here. Um, so I'm hoping that means there's still some really good ones on the board, and there is. Oh, look at those boys. Which one? Look at my chops. Who do I want? Um, so I think I guess this guy's top five. So maybe we'll look at one of these guys um, from Kansas State. B minus C F. B minus C F from England. All right, Kansas State. Not the best clutch performer, but can hit the big shots. Amazing skill when the rim can finish with either hand. Looks like he can turn be right away for any team. Shows a total lack of intensity when it comes to rebounding. Suspect defense and low post. And this guy. Extremely intelligent defensive player, great instincts, has tremendous upside, could be a superstar someday, and amazing skills going to the rim, can finish with your hand. Looks like he might just be the low post to be at YOLO. Um, shows a lack of intensity. Okay, I'm going to say, I'm thinking this dude, Livingston's going to go over Cobb. So I'm going to take Livingston, and let's go, boys. So, Timothy Livingston from England, point guard, 6'2", 180, 21 years young. Let's go, boys. Uh, still might draft. I still might pick up another point guard for agency. We'll see how his overall is. Um, but there's a trade. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay. See you guys. I guess at the end of the draft, since we have uh, no more picks. All right, guys. So the draft's over. So let's look through the summary super quick. Um, Dion Rowe is 81 overall. The first overall pick going down. And we t wow. Holy shit! Livingston's an 80 overall. Oh my god. Nine. Wow, look, I guess 66 overall was taken before Livingston. Wow. And then where's the other point guard? Where do you fall? Even he, Okay, so Cobb's an 80 overall either. Can't go wrong there, but him falling to number 18 is insane. Wow. How did that shit fall so far? My God, I don't know. These teams are all insane. Um, but we got Livingston. Awesome pick there. He couldn't go wrong either way with either of them, it looks like. So, very happy with that pick. We might not even need a point card. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, let's go exit draft, guys. Um, fans, love your recent acquisition of Andre Drummond. Where do you see him slotting in with this team? Good starter. He's a great player and an instant starter. I think he'll fit right in with this roster and help us do some damage in the playoffs. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, let's do rookie signing in free agency. This episode, why not? I know some of you guys like the long episodes. So we'll sign him. Um, we didn't draft Michael, whatever, for our team. But, you know, they say YOLO. Um, team salary f cap room, $5 million, I think it says. Uh, so Davis accepted our contract. Oh, all right. I'm going to do some looking around here, see who we can afford, and I'll be back in a second, guys. All right, guys. So I'm here with Al Horford. Um, there's nobody really we can afford that's too expensive. So I saw we needed a power forward center mix. So, uh... I'm going to offer Al Horford here about 1.25 for one year, but he's going to be a, a bench warmer, to be honest. Actually, I'll go 1.3 then because he's not going to like that. Um, what does he say to that? Like 2.37. Yeah, my God, for whatever, take 2.4. Um, so I'm thinking about her. Um, what else do we need? Like kind of a, either a shooting guard, small forward, is that what we needed, or was it a... Think that's what it was. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Nick Stoska is the free agent. Do we pick him back up? I wonder. How would he make up this year? Oh, I advanced to a day. Never mind. Um, Vasquez is there. Where was he? Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oops. He wants that much. Fuck off. See ya, bud. See ya. Have fun. <laughs> I'm not paying you that kind of money. Um, so centers don't need that. Power forwards are good. Small forwards. We needed a let's we need another point card is what we need, I'm pretty sure. Um Lowry. <laughs> oh Lowry. Let's see what we can do for you. One year, one point five seven. How about you're a bench warmer? And I give you one point three. How about that? What do you think of that kiddo? He wants one point five one you're being a greedy SOB, aren't you? I'll give you one point five for six man. He'll sleep on it. Lowry going from the starter, year one. Tub bench warmer. I have some respect for players who used to play for us. I don't want them to go unsigned or anything. I want them to do well. So Lowry and Horford both accepted their contracts for one year. Adding some depth to the bench, guys. 
Um, maybe look, I'm going to look at some more cheaper players, just like way, way depth players, you know what I mean? Um, but guess who can we sign here? Um, Kim English, CJ Miles, 32. Let's go Frank Barry, he's a big boy. Um, once one year, 8.7K, I'll give you. That's, oh, that's all I can afford. Fuck that. I guess I have to walk away then. Um, it'll go way, way down. How about that? Um, as a boogie. As a boogie. Let's go sign him. <laughs> when you want 8.5, how about that? That's all I'll give you. Um, you'll sleep on it. And then we also need maybe a power forward center. Or center power forward, maybe. Well, excuse me. Or no, power forward center. Let's go with that. Um, oh, Charlie Villanueva. Got to go with him. And another ex, a, uh, ex player. So let's see him. If he says, you'll think about it. Perfect. Um, we're going with a lot of ex Raptors bringing him in for the veteran presence. Simulating through. They both accepted. Perfect. And then I will simulate through free agency and training camp and advance to the next season. And next episode, we're we'll going to line up already and start the season. So that's exciting as hell. Whew. But uh, I guess if you guys enjoyed this episode, smash that like button if you did. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. Have an awesome day, guys. I will see you guys next time.